Hey, I'm Phil. And I'm Nielden. And this is Metal Manglers, and today we're going to rebuild a QA1 shock. Welcome. Hey, welcome to Metal Manglers. Today we're going to be going ahead and rebuilding and replacing a bent shock shaft on a QA170 series shock. This is the type of shock we run on our dwarf car. They run on multiple other race cars also. So let's go ahead and get started. Grab my spanner wrench, get on the closure nut, spin the closure nut off. Run that to the top. Go ahead and pull out the O-ring. Work the shock shaft up. Sometimes the compression tube comes with it and this one did. And I'll go ahead and put that in my Joe's vise. Pull out my compression tube. Dump the oil out. Pull out the gas bag. Check the gas bag. This one's ruptured, so uh, we're going to need to replace the gas bag also. Dump shock oil. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and disassemble the shock shaft, uh, taking off my valve stack. Sometimes this can be a little bit uh, difficult. There. I'm going to be using the same valving on this one, so I'm going to lay all my I'm going to lay everything in the order that it came off. So if you were changing out your valving on this, you would uh, have your valve stack set up. I'm, gonna, I'm not doing that, so I don't have a valve stack set up. I'm just going to put this back on the exact same way it came off. I'm just rebuilding the shock and replacing the bent shock shaft. Gland. Closure nut. Tattle tail. And this is a good uh, visual of how bent this shock shaft is. This is where we go ahead and clean up all the parts, wipe them all down, and take them to the parts washer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the new shock shaft on now. This is where I'm going to replace all the internal seals for the closure nut, the gland nut, and uh, get it ready to go and put back together. Always want to dip it, dip your new seals in some fresh shock oil.
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and assemble the shock now. First thing you want to do is put on your tattletale, close your nut, gland, concave disc. Start putting your valve shack stack in. Piston with the dimple up. Your compression stack. Concave washer. Nut. Torque specs on this is very important. 150 inch pounds. If you over torque it, you can ruin the valve stack and also push the valve stack, uh, bow the valve stack so it doesn't work correctly. So you just torque it down to 150 inch pounds. New gas bag, double check, make sure it's holding pressure, and it is. Put a little bit of oil in. Put the gas bag in, running it all the way down below the little lip inside. Slide your compression tube down in gently, making sure not to pinch the gas bag until the gas tube sets all the way in the base. Top off with shock oil to right at the little lip that's inside there. Take. Put your valve stack inside the compression tube. Tap it, knocking any air free of the valve stack. Then tap the side of the body to release any air on the body of the shock. Go ahead and run the shaft through its stroke. This is where I wait about five minutes to let all the air come up on the get free and let it all come to the top. See you in five minutes. Okay, so we've waited five minutes and now we're gonna go ahead and check our shock and make sure everything is good. What I do is I just go ahead and I reach in and I put my finger on the compression tube Go ahead and run the shock through its stroke. And everything looks good. So what I'll do now is I'll pull the gland down. Push the gland in place. New O-ring seal. Push my O-ring down in place. Close your nut. Careful not to cross thread that. You want to bring these down pretty snug, good and snug, good and tight. And you're going to want to run through your stroke to make sure you don't have any air in the shock. And there it is. And that's how you rebuild and replace a shock shaft, a bent shock shaft on a QA1 shock. Uh, if you have any questions, please Write them down, write a questions down below and we'll do our best to get them answered as quick as possible. So that's building a QA1 shock. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like, tell your friends, hit all the other stuff that we got to hit. How was business channel? Let us know what you guys want to see.